we we had had listen the last couple of years post home invasion they've been very different very difficult very difficult for me um you know there's no area of your life that it doesn't touch and you know my husband who travels for work and he's he was traveling the most that year and it was a year i needed him the most you know and that really it definitely took a toll and we had our challenges and you know when you're going through something that's very foreign and um we weren't filming at the time you know we were off season so um it you 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 go through it i mean it's your private matters right and it's not like we're heading to divorce court but we're just we're disconnected which pk and i we really are are very codependent and we're connected. So it's like the first time in 13 years we've been together that we felt this disconnect. And so it was, you, you're you kind of like trying to even figure it out. Um, so no, I wasn't sharing and talking about it per se. In fact, when we came into this season, it was really important for me to be open and honest and talk about it um, because it's the reality. It's the reality of what, I faced and we faced and, you know, it's not just in my marriage. It was, you know, in a lot of areas in my life and, you know, PTSD really grabbed hold of me. And then, you know, with the second robbery, it threw me back in tenfold. I don't know if you and PK get into this down the line, but I know from my own personal experience sometimes, but when something really stressful or traumatic happens, I tend to just bury myself in work. And when you were talking about how PK was traveling, doing all this stuff, do you feel in hindsight or from him, was that a defense mechanism because he couldn't process or was it just so happened to be a really busy time? That is such a great question. And actually, I'm going to tell you, um, thank you for even bringing that up and hearing it from your perspective, because these are the kinds of things that what we end up doing is we we personalize it, right? So it's really like from my perspective, you know, here I am where I'm always the one who is there for everyone. And you know, I need you the most and you're not here and didn't or couldn't really look at it from any other perspective. And whilst you're working through things, you know, particularly that, I think it's really important that you do open yourself up to be compassionate to the other person, you know, for both of us, him, me, and me, him. And it's true. Listen, PK wasn't here, you know, um, the night of the home invasion. And I'm sure that there is some, some guilt and some feelings that he does, he needs to process. And it's easier, I suppose, you know, you bury yourself in work and you're running and you're not really faced with it. Um, but, you know, when you're in, in, in a relationship and, you know, it's even the hard times that you have to be there for, you know, and I know it's not fun, but, you know, especially going through what I had to go through and you know, taking care of two little beautiful children that I kept it, you know, I kept it away from them. And it was really important that I did. Um, they're still young enough where they're not Googling and they're not on social media. So I could, you know, keep it away from them, taking care of them and working and um, trying to do things and not having my partner there. It was, it made things, it made life very difficult and it obviously caused some problems, but, you know, we ultimately, thank goodness, you know, we we never separated. We had our challenges and we continue to work through, um, you know, and get better and better and stronger. And, you know, that's not always something that happens overnight, you know? I love that you guys didn't give up despite a challenging time. So it's it, it was interesting that when the season premiered, those rumors about your marriage came up and there were reports that you weren't living together. How did that impact you and PK personally after putting in so much work to get to a better place? So, you know, I got word um, just before uh, the article was going to run. And, um, you know, that's why PK and I decided to put out a statement right away because I knew that this, you know, this could, and we're not the type really that there's been so many things in the paper and rumors and so on. I don't debunk things. I don't even pay attention when things are just not real. I let it have its moment because why give it air, you know? And I feel like you'll end up chasing your tail. And this was one of those times where I just knew, especially because 
we were very open and vulnerable and talking about it in the season. If we weren't going to address it, then it could take on a life of its own. And so we immediately put out a statement. It's never fun, you know, to see those things. But at the point that you're jointly putting out a statement, you know, debunking it and saying, this is not true. We're not going to focus on rumor and hearsay. Rather, we're going to continue to work on our marriage and the commitment that we have to the family as a united couple. It it was like, whatever anyone wants to say after that, well, then go for it. You know, you, you know, you have, you have our take on it. You have the ones that want to know the truth. I mean, we've just put out the truth. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's never fun, Evan, but it's, it's par for the course.